Hello everyone, how's it going? So today I want to talk about the iPhone 6s battery. So this phone has now been out for two years and as myself personally and a few of my friends have experienced, the batteries are starting to die. So in this video, I want to show you uh, what happens when the battery ages as you use it, charge it daily, and also the symptoms of the battery uh, going out. And then also I'll show you one method that I use to check whether the battery should be replaced or not. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so first of all, I wanna talk about uh, what happens inside the battery as it ages. So on the left here, we have a new battery. This is just a small illustration. So as you can see, there is a positive electrode and a negative electrode, uh, similar to what one cell of a battery would look like. So within this battery, when it's new, there are no deposits on either terminals and the chemistry reaction can happen very efficiently and quickly. And over here, uh, as the battery ages, as you go through charge cycles, and especially uh, as you use the battery to almost empty, if you always do that, it happens a lot quicker. Or also if you keep it at full charge, it also happens. What happens is that there's starting to be deposits on both of the terminals. What this does is it reduces the surface area of the electrodes and that slows down the reaction within the battery as you use it or as it charges. And when that happens, you increase what's called a equivalent series resistance. So this is a phenomenon that happens within all batteries. Um, so as the chemistry inside the battery is changing states, uh, as you use it or as you charge it, um, the, as it take, the chemical reaction takes time. And this is what's basically causing the series resistance that we can observe, uh, basically a change in the relationship between voltage and current as you charge it or use it. And so what the effect does it cause? So um, with a new battery, we have a lower series equivalent resistance. So what that means is let's say we're charging at one amp and we're feeding it for at uh, 4.3 volts. Inside the battery, the equivalent series resistance is about 150 milliohms. And the actual cell is around, uh, let's say 4.15 volts. So that's what happens when you have low ESR and, and charging. And when you're discharging, uh, let's say at one amp, so the cell is, uh, itself, when it's resting, might be 3.8 volts. But as you discharge through one amp uh, with the ESR, uh, basically at the terminals, you'll see 3.65 volts. And over here, we have an old battery with high ESR, for example, at 400 milliohm. So let's say we're still charging at 4.3 volts, one amp. So inside the battery, it's actually 3.9 volts. So what this means is, let's say you stop charging and let it rest for a little bit, the battery will settle at 3.9 volts. And similarly, when you're discharging, let's say uh, at uh, open, cell, open circuit, it's the similar 3.8 volts. But actually, when you're outputting, discharging at one amp, at the terminal, you'll only get 3.4 volts. And so you can see with a higher resistance, uh, we are charging at the same current and the same voltage. The battery inside, the, at when it's open circuit voltage, is actually much lower. And similarly, when you're discharging, when the open circuit voltage of the battery is similar, you get much lower voltage at the terminal. And this is, uh, you can look at it one way as through uh, bottlenecking. So like this water bottle filling up, for example. So when you're um, new, with the new battery, low ESR, um, the port, is much bigger to allow water to flow in as it charges, for example, or allow the water to flow out as it discharges. And with a older battery, so we can look at the deposit as basically shrinking the diameter of the neck. So when you're charging, there's much uh, slower water flow into the battery. And then when you're discharging, there's uh, the battery cannot supply that much uh, water flow as it goes out. And so what this means is with the low ESR, we get faster charging because you know the, the, the voltage, the open circuit voltage of the battery is much similar to the charging voltage. Uh, you also don't have unexpected shutdowns doing heavy tasks because uh, doing high current draw, the terminal voltage isn't that much lower than the cell open circuit voltage. And with the high ESR old battery, uh, you have much slower charging. Uh, because this is because the iPhone will only charge at the maximum voltage of 4.3 volts. So when you reach that voltage, you're actually starting to reduce the current uh, to, to fill up the very last bits of the battery. 
um, but that takes much longer time as it reaches 4.3 volts much earlier um, and also it may cause unexpected shutdowns during heavy loads this is because the iPhones uh, was actually uh, shut down no matter what when the battery reaches 3.4 volts and even if it doesn't shut down um, you'll have much faster percent to drop uh, as we'll see in just a little bit and over here I just have one last little bit to talk about so when the battery is charging the iPhone actually charges the battery at full current till about 4.3 volts uh, so this is you can see it as this line the, the solid red line this is the voltage from 0% for example at 3.4 volts all the way to 4.3 volts uh, and then after that it will start to top off charge until the current this blue line reduces down to around 100 milliamp so in this graph here uh, the solid lines is what would a low ESR new battery would look like and the dotted lines is basically what a high ESR battery would look like so we'll reach that 3.4 volt much earlier uh, yeah much earlier in the state of charge so the current will start to decrease much earlier uh, that basically is a longer charge time uh, and then when it comes to discharging so the iPhone will shut down no matter what at 3.4 volts and with the high ESR battery the reported percentage will drop very fast under high load uh, as the terminal voltage approach approaches 3.4 volts so basically that's just one that's just how the battery fuel gauge inside the iPhone actually operates so when it sees that terminal voltage drops really quickly it'll start to decrease that percentage very quickly so that uh, you know the user will basically get warned a little bit ahead of time before it actually shuts down and over here is the discharge graph this is going to be a little bit hard to see um, so the red line is low ESR and low current so this is basically using it on a daily basis at full charge is around 4.2 volts and then it'll decrease and then it's going to plateau a little bit and then when it reaches just about empty it'll drop sh pretty sharply um, so this is basically the discharge capacity for the 6S Plus. Um, it's around 2,000, uh, that's rated 2,750 milliamp hour. And this solid blue line is basically low ESR high current. So this is basically uh, a new battery, but let's say you're running some super heavy tasks. So the, the, due to that low, it's low, the ESR, but there's still a little bit of it. So you'll see that drop in voltage when compared to the low current. And then you're going to have a little bit less time usage before it reaches that 3.4 volt line right here. Um, and then for the dotted lines, so high ESR, low current, the red dotted line. So you'll see um, not too big of a difference when compared to the low ESR, low current. Uh, we'll see that the voltage uh, would drop down a little bit, but then you still get quite a lot of usage. Uh, what really is the problem is high ESR, high current. So, you know, due to uh, this, Right, due to this, so the battery uh, in the internal open circuit cell voltage is at 3.8 volts, for example. But due to that 400 milliohm high ESR, you can only at the terminal, the phone, the iPhone will actually only see 3.4 volts. So this is what's represented here with this dotted blue line. So it reached that 3.4 volts much earlier, and essentially you're only using that little bit of the battery. You cannot get access to all of that capacity uh, later on. And so this is the biggest thing that you'll see. Uh, with the old iPhone battery. All right, so now I will show you the method that I use to check the battery condition. Uh, basically, we'll just put a high load on the phone and see whether we have this phenomenon where the voltage and the percentage drop really quickly, or whether we see this one where it's just a small change between high load or not. Uh, over here, we have two iPhones, two 6S Pluses. This one on the left, I just replaced the battery. This is the old one. And then this one on the right uh, has a factory battery that is uh, basically on its way out. Uh, we'll basically see the difference between these two as a comparison. And so let's get started. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is make sure both phones are on the same state. So both are in airplane mode with the brightness turned up. And for this part of the tutorial, I will actually use the on-screen recording for a better illustration. All right, so you will need two apps, Lirum Info and also N22 Benchmark. 
So with Lyrum, there's actually a very uh, convenient program where we can see the state of the battery. So over here inside check internal battery reports, we can see the condition of the battery. On the left, as you can see the new battery, uh, we have 100% health. On the, run, the one on the right has a 72% health. And also, by the way, uh, before this percentage drops down, uh, keep in mind this good battery phone, 71%. Uh, this phone with a uh, worn out battery is at 74% reported right now. So we can see health, 101%, basically new. Uh, and this one, the old one, has a 72% health. And we can see the voltage differences. Um, so now that I turn the screen on and all of that, the, the, the voltage actually dropped quite a bit. Um, when I just opened the app, I remember it was uh, 3.91, I think. But anyways, uh, so this, for now, you just need to uh, keep in mind of the health that is reported and also uh, the battery percentage. All right, so now we know the starting state. We'll run the benchmark in N22. Uh, you don't have to use this app, but you can use basically any app that can put a heavier load on the phone. Uh, okay, so for this part of the video, I'll just fast forward and until we can see the results. And the other thing you can notice right now on screen is the smoothness between the two phones. So the one on the left with the brand new battery, you can see the graphics is much smoother than the one on the right where you can see a lot more stutters. This is because as the uh, phone battery approaches the 3.4 volts, as the health is decreased, uh, the iPhone actually throttles performance just so that it won't drop or it won't use that much of a load for the battery uh, to A, to get you a little bit longer battery life, but also B, the more importantly, to stop the battery from uh, prematurely uh, decreasing down to that 3.4 volt and for the phone to shut down. So this is how the, the, the iPhone is actually uh, doing to try to get you a little more uh, battery life out of it. Okay, so actually, now that we've finished the 3D part, uh, this is already enough for this test. So let me back out and go into here. And you can see instantly the percentage we've actually dropped down has is still continuing to drop right now we're at 57 uh, on the worn out battery and on the good battery we're only down to uh, 68 and keep in mind on the good one we started off at 71 so a three percent drop and this one still dropping now down to 56 percent we started out at 74 so you can see the difference and also more importantly this battery uh, as you can see, the health actually was decreased down to 40%. This is because that effect where the super heavy drop, uh, actually, uh, basically, the fuel gauge is, is the fuel gauge's way to uh, basically get that percentage to drop much quicker so that you're converging down to 0% as the battery hits uh, 3.4 volts. But now, as you can see, we've quit out of the... Uh, the benchmark test and this health gauge is gradually going back up but you know this is uh, technically wrong as if you're still using a heavy load you're only getting what a 30 40 percent health battery would have gotten you and so basically that is it for this video uh, just to show you uh, the effects of a worn battery uh, basically all you need is an app to check the health of the battery you can keep in mind you can uh, just to to know to check the health before a heavy load and run the heavy load see the percentages drop super quickly and then finally check back in this app to th see the health reported uh, at just after a heavy load and with this you can basically tell whether you have a high esr battery or a much lower esr battery all right thank you for watching this video uh, i hope you uh, learned something i hope i was able to get you to know the method of um, you know, uh, the, the, the phone battery, how to, how to tell whether it is, uh, should be replaced or not. 
And in the next video, I will actually show you how to replace the battery. Um, technically, you don't have to, and I actually do not recommend you to replace it yourself because you know Apple uh, has that service where you replace your battery for, uh, with a brand new 100% genuine battery with a three month warranty. But if you do it yourself, we, we run the risk of buying a fake battery, uh, which might have uh, non-rated performance. And that's you know only a little problem. The biggest problem is uh, Samsung Note 7, for example, right? Where uh, some, the battery wasn't manufactured properly and it explodes. Um, so yeah, and also you don't have that warranty and you're on top of that, you're opening your own phone. Um, so if you're not handy with these kind of gadgets, I recommend you, I strongly recommend you to go to Apple for that replacement. It's not that expensive considering you can use that phone again for another year or two. Uh, but anyways, uh, so yeah, in the next video, I'll show you uh, how to replace the battery if you want to do it yourself. But uh, for now, this is it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.